framework, one of the frameworks, I'm gonna give you just one right now, is something that I call um, Pepsi framework, P-E-P-S-I. Sachin Tendulkar did not practice hook only when it needed, when he needed that. He practiced way ahead of time. The third practice you can do is what I call third party validation. One question that I've been getting constantly from people is Bishal, how do you practice public speaking exactly? Now, when I'm coaching an individual, a leader, we customize those solutions for them. But right now, I want to give you six specific public speaking practices that can really help you. But before I do that, let me tell you what's not going to help you. Number one, speaking in front of mirror will never help you improve your speaking. Number two, randomly making <laughs> you know, uh, videos inside a Facebook group is not going to help you because you know you join some coaches program who said we have 15,000 people inside our program. Basically making random videos is not going to help you. Reading blogs, not going to help you. Watching random videos, not going to help you. Thinking about public speaking, not going to help you. So what is going to help you? I'm going to give you some practices specifically. The first practice that I talk about is this practice number one and that is structure mastery structure mastery you have to find out different frameworks and outlines in public speaking through which you can practice speaking for example um, when i say framework one of the frameworks i'm going to give you just one right now is something that i call um, pepsi framework p-e-p-s-i uh, starts with a problem then empathy for the problem then talk about the proof of the problem that it exists then the S stands for solution of the problem and then the I for invitation to the next step, which is the call to action. Now see, that's a framework I can practice around if, if I want. So structure mastery. You need a structure, practice for two minute speeches, 10 minute speeches, you know, half an hour speeches, doesn't matter. You need the right structure. Stru without structure, uh, randomly practicing, it's kind of like putting bricks without having the, you know, the full blueprint um, architecture of the house, the, how exactly it's going to happen. So first is structure mastery. The second thing you have to practice in speaking is what I call your HD voice formula. HD voice formula. Now in your voice, the second thing you can practice are the, these six elements. Your pace, which is your speed, your volume, your tone, your status, your authority, and your pitch these are the six elements so in hd voice formula if you want to improve your voice take some time to make sure that you practice your voice in the right way what do i mean by right way practice for example right now i could be practicing my voice let's say i'm having a walk in the beach you could be practice i could be practicing my voice i can take one line um one of my favorite poems is i've got only just a minute only 60 seconds in it forced upon me can't refuse it didn't seek it didn't choose it but it's up to me to use it i must suffer if i lose it give account to god if i abuse it just a tiny little minute but the eternity is in it now today i'll use it with slow pace here is how i've got only just a minute only 60 seconds in it forced upon me can't refuse it didn't seek it didn't choose it but it's up to me to use it i must suffer if i lose it give account if I abuse it, just a tiny little minute, but the eternity is in it. Now I'm gonna use with higher pitch, pitch is gonna be high. I've got only just a minute, only 60 seconds in it. Force upon me, can't refuse it, didn't seek it, didn't choose it, but it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it, give it count if I abuse it, just a tiny little minute, but the eternity is in it. Do you see what I'm talking about? Take one piece, a quote, a line, a paragraph, you can read something and practice your HD voice formula, we teach you inside the coaching program that I have. If you want to know more about these tips, give us a call at the number so you can talk to one of our team members and enroll in our program. Hello. The third practice you can do is what I call third party validation. What do I mean by third party validation? You require in your speech all the time, in your presentation, in your conversations, third party content. Third party content means stuff that is does not belong to you, but you can use it anytime. 
example, 92% of people who set new year goals, not new year resolution, 92% of people who set new year goals fail to achieve them. Now that's a third party validation from hard work business review. So two or three kinds of stuff you can practice and make sure you rehearse them is quotation, statistics, and small inspiring pieces of wisdom. Inspiring piece of wisdom can be a small paragraph, can be a larger quote, it can be uh, a quick story from somebody else, right? It can also be a small poem. These are uh, things that you should always have. Let's say if you have 50 quotes in your mind, about uh, you know 30 statistics in your mind, and let's say about 20 poems in your mind, and you know 20 different moral stories with moral uh, in your mind. What's going to happen is that anytime situation calls for it, you can. This is what I call a back back pocket shortcut. Like from the back pocket, you can get out and you can add it. You can't think that okay, only for this speech I'll practice it. It's too late already. Uh, Sachin Tendulkar did not practice hook only when it needed, when he needed that. He practiced way ahead of time. So this is the third party validation information is what you require. So first is your structure. Second is your voice, is the voice formula. Third is the third party information you have got to master. The fourth thing you got to master is your body language. Body language practices. So your facial expression, your smile, how do you carry yourself, your walk, every single day you got to work on that to make sure that you become an elite personality, an unstoppable personality. Again, if you want to know more exactly how I can practically help you, you can see on the screen some of the videos. And if you really want to know exactly how to practically transform yourself, give us a call on the number that you see on the screen. And the fifth practice that I want to quickly give you right now is something different. And that is a spontaneous speech topic. Spontaneously, I want you to speak on at least one minute a day. Yeah, I don't want you to practice 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day, one minute a day. And on random topics, a topic could be, let's say the pebble. I can see the pebble here, pebble. When I look at the word pebble, let's say if I was starting the speech, if I, whenever I look at pebbles, I'm reminded of this old quote, which is, the road is never going to stop you. What's going to stop you is the pebble in your shoes. When you have the pebble in your shoes, I remember a couple of minutes ago, I had some pebble in my shoe. Um, I was feeling a little uncomfortable. I needed to take this off. And sometimes that pebble is not just a physical pebble. It's a mindset obstacle that you have. Maybe you want to achieve big dreams in your life. Maybe you want to take exotic vacations. Maybe you want to go out in the world and make an impact. Sometimes the pebble in your mind is, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe this is not for me. Maybe this is not the right time for me. These are the pebbles in your mind that will stop you. The pebbles in your shoes, the pebbles in your mind. So how do you achieve the big dreams? It's very simple. The journey of thousand miles begins with a single step. I don't know what you want in your life, but I know that you want something more in your life. Maybe you want more money. Maybe you want more confidence. Maybe you want more happiness. Maybe you want more impact. Whatever you want in your life, here is what I can tell you right now. The three simple steps for that. Number one is find the right environment of people who are already doing what you want to be doing. Number two, show some courageous actions every single day. And number three, remove the pebbles from your shoes, remove the pebbles from your mind every single day so that you feel lighter, you feel brighter, and you become a fighter in your life. Remember, your life does not improve by chance, your life improves by choice. And all the pebbles that you see here at the sea, at near the ocean right now at the beach, can be removed from your shoes and that's how you can take a journey to a transformation. Willie once said that a vision without action is a daydream. And an action without vision is a nightmare. But vision with action create can create a life of transfusion. So the next time you have pebbles in your shoes or in your mind, remove that. Remember, Choti Soch and Pau Ki Moch cannot make you go far in life. That's my speech on pebbles. Now see, it's not a, it's not a perfect speech, but I said something powerful. Hey, what do you think? Was the speech powerful? What do you think? Yes? Say yes.
Yes. Okay, it's, he's saying yes, okay. <laughs> so, pebbles. Now see, random, this is a practice. This is not a performance for me. It was a random practice. The reason I mentioned that to you is because this is what you're gonna do. You gotta be creative so that when the time calls for it, when you, when you have to go out there and speak, you are ready. You're not thinking, what do I say? Right now I'm getting nervous. See, I, I, I dropped in two quotes there. The pebble quote and also the journey of thousand miles begins with a single step and then the vision and action quote. See, these are the third party elements. You see, because of the right practices, it can be all elemented. So here are my three questions for you. Are you okay with dying in this lifetime without being a world-class speaker? Are you okay with that? Second question I have for you is how much longer do you want to wait before you become an unstoppable leader and speaker? And the third question is, what is it going to cost you mentally, financially, physically, emotionally, if you never become a great speaker? What is it going to cost you? See, I believe you started watching this video because of one of two reasons. Number one, you wanted just some basic information which is fine, you can leave the video now in that case. Or second, maybe you want some transformation results in your life. If you want transformation results, here is what I got for you. If you're ready to let go of average speaking and if you want to step into your power and if you want to customize these practices for your situation so I can make you practice your speeches and I can help you deliver awesome, rock solid, great presentations for the rest of your life so that you can get the promotion, get the happiness, increase your income, achieve financial freedom, Give us a call that you see on the screen right now because we have a practical program. Our program is a very, very practical program. You get experiential fine tuning. It's an implementation based program because it's a systematic program with synergy. We give you the most usable techniques, usable frameworks, usable methods, usable tactics about your public speaking skills. Step by step coaching, step by step guidance and hand holding. We give you hands on experience, feedback, correction. I am there to correct your mistakes and give you actionable strategies and tactics so that you receive the practical transformation now. So if you want to know more, you give us a call on the number right now. You're going to see some videos of testimonials of other people too. Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. And after going to the Speakathon Implementation Bootcamp program, I would say the program has been a really fun one. The platform is so much interactive and there is so much to learn from each and everyone individually you will learn like from here to here and you'll get much 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 value than you ever expected like i feel i have got 100 times more value by joining this program i was lacking in so many things but now i have already improved in so many areas and i'm counting on those even if i paid 10 times more than this, I think I will never get enrolled to such a beautiful program ever. Before I go for presentation, I keep on telling myself, you know, that I am confident. I can actually go and make good speeches. I am going to be valuable to the audience. You know, when you actually tell those speeches, you get that energy, you get the high to actually go and give the presentation. And I think Bishan taught me that, and that's why now I'm more confident. My message to all of you, is that if you're lacking confidence, if you do not know, you know about public speaking or if you are scared to go to stage, if you have stage fright, this is a course for you. Last two wins, uh, last two weeks, I think this was the biggest win. Uh, when I was able to sit in front of such a big crowd and talk confidently, uh, which I never thought would be possible in, that, in this short uh, period of span, a time span, I, I was really happy about that. You always mention about, you know, think while you talk and that calm and composed, uh, you know, body language that came out on that day and I was very happy. I didn't know that's going to be a possibility for me. <laughs> because I'm the so one. How big was the crowd, Pallavi? How big was the crowd? The auditorium accommodates uh, 5,000 people, so there were close to 1,000 people. Okay. okay, and you are one of the panelists there. Okay, very nice, very nice. How long would the entire session that when you were on stage, not just your speech, the entire session, how, how long did that go for? Up to one hour, 45 minutes, roughly. Okay. And who were some of the people there, maybe one or two people who uh, were maybe people that may, people other people may know about? Were there any renowned personalities there with you on the stage? Yes, yes, there were, uh, there were some. So there was a... Uh, like who? 
uh, for instance, there's a big university for architecture in uh, Hyderabad. It's called Wokson University of, for architecture. The dean was there yeah. on the panel. There was a national uh, national strategist and an author. Got it. Love that.